this is obviously ORV2. Yes. And the biggest difference between ORV2 and ORV1 is we removed two plus points in the back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So not only do you save on captains, yes. we also save space. See, it's a 2 u 3 node. Yep. Place in a node. Again, everything is uh, toilet. Beautiful. So this is just an airflow cover. Mm -hmm. Here we have the Leopard uh, motherboard. Mm -hmm. The board uses a uh, 2 Intel E5 mm -hmm. V4s. Mm -hmm. It also supports V3, so mm -hmm. it's backward compatible. Mm -hmm. 60 dim slots. Mm -hmm. And the best thing about this motherboard is it's, it's Leopard, right? So it's Absolutely. used by Facebook. Yep. When Facebook uses a motherboard, obviously they use it, you know. Extensively. Extensively. <laughs> it's done very well. Mm -hmm. the manufacturing process is also very good. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to have like, okay, well, the CLE made 50. There's going to be like some sort of problems with manufacturing. Yeah. It's yep. not used to. Yep. It's massively produced, mm -hmm. great integrity. Absolutely. And uh, let me show you right now. This configuration right now is actually mm -hmm. a 3.5U large four factor drive. Mm -hmm. We do have a six SSD small four factor drive. Mm -hmm. And all you would need to do is change this case. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. This is the PCIe riser. Right. Okay. Everything is toolless. Mm -hmm. Pull it out. Mm -hmm. This is a by eight and a by 16 slot. Mm -hmm. For uh, you know, for maybe a NIC card or a SAS connector. Mm -hmm. Again, all I need to do is change this hard drive case. Beautiful. And then we change it. We become a mm -hmm. six. It'll become a six small form factor mm -hmm. SSD. Here we have the OCP mess card, and here's our 524 PCIe slot. We were talking about the benefits of going with three nodes versus a four node, and uh, this was very thermal uh, centric, so, right? Well, originally, the toys used to be two U four node. Mm -hmm. How come we switched to three node? Mm -hmm. Because well, the way we figured it, three node actually does make more sense because it provides so much more space. Mm -hmm. This system itself has been tested up to 40 degrees. So, so Leopard can do higher than, say, uh, Big Sur or yes. uh, FO6A, FO6D, for example. Yes, in certain conditions. That's the main purpose of switching mm -hmm. to a three mm -hmm. node. It is a little bit less density. But we do still carry two U4 node. Really, it just depends on mm -hmm. the, how the application. Right? Yes. Yep. If you wanted a, a Facebook type um, design in that you reduce the cooling, very high PUE, um, the Leopard is the way to go, right? Exactly. Yep. Cool. How does this Racker X uh, differ to Facebook's Racker X? The main difference here is okay, we have a 43U yep. rack. Mm -hmm. The industry standard usually uses up to only 42. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why do we use 43? Mainly due to the power shelf. This is our power shelf. This is a 12.5 kilowatt power shelf. Facebook's only six, isn't it? Facebook only uses mm. 6.6. Mm -hmm. Other people use maybe eight. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, you know, if you have a server like Big Sur, it mm. uses up to 2,700 pounds. Absolutely. So two of them. Yeah, so you can mm. only use two of them. Mm. With, the dual, with the dual power shelf zone, mm. uh, dual power mm. zone, you can mm. use up to four. Mm -hmm. But here we have 12.5. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with, with just this one, you can run up to four Big Sur. Yeah. And if you have our dual power shelf skew, mm -hmm. so two power zones, you yes. can run up to eight. So, so that'll give you tw up. 25 kilowatts yeah. then, and uh, well, eight would would, be, would fill it up. Yep. Yeah, would fill mm -hmm. it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is basically the light on power shelf. Mm -hmm. uh, our power shelf, this is, each of these is 25, 30. Mm -hmm. So it's five plus one redundancy, so you get mm -hmm. 12.5. Mm -hmm. um, the reason I said it's like that, because all power shelves are usually 2.5 to 3 use. Mm -hmm. Every single, every single, um, Open system is always going to be a 2U or 4U. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. no 1U, there's no 3U. That's right. Yes. So if we have a 43U and you subtract 3, you're going to have 40. Yes. So that's the whole reason for it. Absolutely. Because it makes if you're sense. Using the industry standard, you use a 42. You want to use everything. You're going to, you're going yep. to end up using, you're going to waste the space. Yep. Okay. Tell us about the BBS. <clears throat> if your power generator were to go out of battery, mm -hmm. or, or there's some sort of fluctuation with your power, your systems might reset or they will power off. Any information that was like, you know, maybe in the cache or in the memory that hasn't been saved to your cold storage is mm -hmm. going to be lost. Mm -hmm. Your information is going to be lost mm -hmm. forever. So here, this is our BBS. Mm -hmm. It provides three minutes of power to this whole rack. Mm -hmm. Does a one U provide or, or a single? This is single U. Yes, a single U with yeah. four modules in it provides three minutes of runtime. Yes, three yes. minutes of runtime for your whole rack. At 12 and a half kilowatts of load. Yes. Yes. Okay, so what's interesting about this is in ORV1, not many people adopted the BBS. But That's ever right. since ORV1 and ORV2, we've actually adopted. Mm -hmm. We've always kept the BBS. Mm -hmm. um, now Facebook is starting to actually use the BBS, but there's only goes up to about 90 seconds. Mm -hmm. Right now we have to, we still have, we have three minutes. Oh, okay. okay. And so, the battery in this lithium ion, right? Yes. Um, Panasonic made it typically? Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. So it's a very, uh, very robust, very... Yes, um, yes. it's very powerful. It it. You, know, you don't want to lose any of your information. No. That's the importance of the BBS. Awesome. And that's made out of corn. Yes, this is actually made out of corn, so it's very eco-friendly. Uh -huh. Here we have four monolithic CPUs mm -hmm. in one sled. This is a very power efficient mm -hmm. socket, obviously, is, you know, uh, less load, light load application track. Mm -hmm. Here we have four RDMs mm -hmm. and two storage. What's great about this is four nodes, each of these have, you know, their uh, signals mm -hmm. through the side plane mm -hmm. and it aggregates the internet mm -hmm. into this one multi-host node. So what we're looking at really is an OCP-centric 
uh, content hosting, website hosting, yes. dedicated server, was suited for uh, light workloads, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe yep. front, front page, front end servers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's great is like I said, because because it's aggregated together, you're saving up more ICs. Mm -hmm. You know, you only need one multi-host node, or uh, one multi-host network. You only need one cable to connect to your switch. Mm -hmm. So obviously that helps. You know, you're you're, 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 you're reducing your cabling. You're reducing how much bandwidth. 40G. This is 40G. Oh, fantastic. This is 10G, 10G, 10G. Obviously, because it's bicycling, so, so you, could, you could actually support up to 50. Yes, of course. So 410G is aggregates into uh, yes. a 40G. Yes. yes. Mm. So this is a 40G multi-host network. Uh, like, I, everything still here is uh, yeah. you know, tallest. Yep. Everything is uh, designed to be... Yes. So uh, what are we looking at? We're looking at a 2U4... Uh, uh, there's uh, how many nodes in this? There's four nodes in each, four slot, nodes right. in each sled. And so we're we looking three at sleds, three sleds, so we're looking at 12, 12 nodes in two yeah. open units, which exactly. is just, which is uh, pretty much the densest. Um, um, yeah, we have some, yeah, that, absolutely, it's more dense than the, than the micro server, I think, mm -hmm. isn't it? Because the micro server is 3U, uh, either 9 node or the 12 node, I'm talking about the conventional range. Yes, exactly. And, and this and beats that, doesn't it? Yes, mm. that. So, so that's, 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 uh, that's huge, yeah.